ourselves on TV, okay? Hey. Oh, I don't have a statement to read any longer, huh? Scriptures in there. Do I have to read a statement any longer, according to Governor Healy? Is this it? Oh, no. Oh. Well, good evening. We have Mr. Igo. Good evening, Mr. Igo. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, all. Hello. Hello, Sean. Well, good evening, everyone. This is the regularly scheduled meeting of the Amoth Zoning Board of Appeals this uh, June 8, 2023. Mercifully, there are no sporting events we all have to run to this evening, so we'll take our time and listen to every petition in its whole. My name is Steve DeYoung, and I chair this wonderful board with my co patriots here. And uh, this is, as you know, uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals. Our governor requires me to read the following. As required by General Law Chapters 30A, Sections 18 through 25, and pursuant to Chapter 20, and this is the actual title, of the Acts of 2021, an act relative to extending certain COVID-19 measures, adopted during the state of emergency as extended by chapter two of the acts of 2023 that's the title the pub the public are able to attend this meeting either in person or via the alternative public access members of the public may watch the meeting live on channel 18 <coughs> excuse me or watch and or participate in the meeting hosted in zoom the meeting notice provides necessary instructions to join the meeting via Zoom. Please note that audio, video, and screen function sharing fu screen sharing functions will be disabled for all attendees. You may request to participate by using the raise hand function on your screen. We will begin by taking a roll call to assure we have a quorum. Mr. Igo? Present. Mr. Igo is appearing via Zoom. And you should be able to, from time to time, see him on the uh, machine to know that he is, in fact, there. Mr. Mantoni? Here. Mr. Frapery? Here. Mr. Ma? Here. And Barbara, why don't you introduce yourself as our new member? Uh, hi, my name's Barbara Murphy, and I'm um, a new member on the board. I'm an alternate. And she'll soon be voting. Next meeting she attends, she'll be voting. So be kind and be gentle. <laughs> So with that, we have a pretty lengthy agenda this evening, and our first matter is that of uh, petition number 5025, Osteria Moda, LLC, doing business as Leonessa, 43 Route 6A, Yarmouth Port, Massachusetts, that property being located in an R40 zoning district. The applicant this evening seeks a board's review and transfer of special permit numbers 4726, 2018, to operate a restaurant on the property in a substantially similar manner as the previous restaurant. Attorney Gene Curry is here this evening. Good evening, Mr. Curry, as always. Good, Good to evening. see you. And so now we're going to hear about a petition that we, I think, probably put a, 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 a condition on to make sure if it transferred, we we're going to hear about it again. Is that right? That's correct. Why don't you go ahead and tell us all about it, please, sir? Okay, so my name is Eugene Curry. I represent Osteria Motor, Mota LLC doing business as Lee and Essa. Um, Taylor Amara, one of the two managers, is here with me this evening. Um, as, as the chairman said, we're seeking the transfer of special permit 4726, previously granted to 43 Main LLC, doing business as Grill 43. Uh, as I think most of you are, are probably know, there have been Numerous restaurants here subject to special permits over the years. Abici, Grill 43. Um, Cranberry Le Goose. Cranberry Goose, yes, going back, going back some time. Uh, and uh, the petitioner, uh, Leonessa, is operating an Italian restaurant described by uh, Diego Moda, their uh, chef and manager as Italian Italian, in case you're interested. Um, and in the operating the rest they are operating the restaurant they opened on April 14th and they're they're operating in substantially a similar manner as the previous restaurants have um, Diego and Taylor are familiar with the conditions to which that the previous permit was subject to uh, the permit uh, regarding emergency exit 
regarding off-site parking. They have the parking at the Cape Cod Cooperative Bank. They have valet parking with Chatham Valet. Uh, that's, that's now every day they have that. And we submit that, you know, granting the special permit is, is appropriate. There's nothing in the, the new operation will be detrimental or adverse to the neighborhood. Um, and we've received no complaints from any neighbors, and we ask that you grant this permit, and we're available to answer any questions you might have. Now, isn't that succinct and wonderful and to the point? Perhaps our whole night will go that way. <laughs> Let's see if we have any questions from our board members, okay? Mr. Martin? No, that's a simple <clears throat> transfer, and, you know, I think granting this subject to any applicable um, amendments or whatever that are in place is uh, is fine. Uh, it's been a restaurant for forever, and uh, yeah, I understand you that it's a very very nice restaurant now. I'm glad to have it as part of the community. Thank you, Mr. Frapery. Um I agree with with, uh, with Dick. I have no other no questions though. Mr. Mantoni. I'll second that. I don't have any questions either. I wish you luck. So even the board members are being cooperative. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Iko, any questions about petition? Uh, just a couple. Um, is there, you going to run it with valet parking? It's the same as before? Yes, we have valet parking. Okay, employee parking, they know where they're going to park? Yes, you could park at Cape Cod Cooperative. Okay. No cars along 6A, you know that, right? Right, yes. Okay. Any uh, any difference uh, in your operation uh, than any of the other previous special permits that we've granted to this property? I don't believe so. I the, the permit the the conditions in the permit are uh, we're we're agreeing to the same, with with the exception there was at one point there. There, at one point, there were four conditions, and one of them was removed several permits ago. That was condition number two. So from that perspective, we're not doing all of them, but we're doing the three conditions that were in petition, um, petition 4726. Okay, okay. Um, and just out of curiosity, what are your hours of operation? Um, we are open for dinner service from Wednesday through Sunday from 4.30 until 10 p.m. And are you going to expand the hours? We're staying closed on Mondays and Tuesdays until we can find some more help. What about the license? Pick it up earlier. Not at the moment. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> so, are you planning to is the question? Maybe. So uh, those are your hours of operation, but you're going to stay open. I mean, you'll be around after that to clean up and everything. Or not? I just wanted to get an idea. Oh, so absolutely, yes. Yeah, we are pretty yeah. much there until about 11, 11.30, cleaning up the restaurant and making sure everything's secure and locked up at the end of the night. I would just mention, okay. Sean, that uh, Diego and, and Taylor have spent their entire young careers in the restaurant business. They know what they're doing. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Uh, that's all the questions that I had. Thank you very much. Well, you know, I, I'm going through the multiple decisions that have uh, been rendered concerning this property, and they go back quite a distance, but I was shocked to see my uh, name on one back in 2005. Isn't this 2023? Yeah, you're getting there. Here. It's time for me to move out of the seat, I think. Well, anyway, uh, I have absolutely no questions. I've dined at that restaurant with your predecessor. I'm sure I haven't dined in your facility yet. I'm sure it will be fabulous. What we all need is dine good restaurants, and we know we have a lot of good ones here and in Hyannis. I, I know of quite a couple of good ones down by a marina down there. And, you know, the, there are nice places to go all around Cape Cod, and, and uh, hopefully this will add to them. Can't have a bad restaurant, that's for sure, because you're gone quick, let's face it. But help is certainly a problem, and you're right. It's going <coughs> to probably it's curtail bad. your operation a bit. Hopefully that will change. So I have no questions. Does anybody in our audience care to speak in favor of this request for a transfer of the special permit? If so, please come to the 
microphone at the table. I guess it's not on the uh, lectern, but the microphone at the table and let us know who you are. Oh, yeah. And we see none. Does anybody care to speak in opposition to this request? So come to the microphone at the table and let us know who you are. And we see none. So we close it to the public's input on the petition. We open it up to board discussions, deliberations, and um, thank you so very much, JP. And uh, anybody uh, care to have the first words in? How about you, John? No, I did. there's not much to add, really. I think. Uh you know, it's a pretty standard uh, transfer, and, uh, and I support it. Excellent. And uh, you, uh, Jay? No, I, I agree with John. I think it, um, it it's a good addition. I'm glad to see that they're coming in, so um, I would support it. Good. Same thing. <clears throat> John? <clears throat> hey. John? You asking me, Steve? Yeah, I'm asking if you have any uh, input you'd like to make <clears throat> to request to transfer nope, the special nope. permit. Only that uh, I did support this, uh, and I would be prepared to make a motion if uh, you'd like to hear one. Well, before you do, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Barbara, I overlooked you altogether oh, because you weren't sorry. voting today. No. Do you have anything you'd like to add? No, to this no, one? I live in Yarmouthport, and I wish you luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just want a restaurant closer yeah, to you. restaurant, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Mr. Igo, please. Well, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, approve the petition as requested, and that's the transfer special permit 4726 uh, dated 2018 and incorporating the previous special permits as defined in that special permit 4726. So I guess what we would just do in the decision is just give them the same verbiage verbatim, correct, except the words that we're just transferring it, all the other which would be the same well all of the we I, I my suggestion would be well, all of the conditions except to that. yeah uh, all of the conditions right. except as not previously modified I think we removed one on a decision not too long ago yeah that's that's listed in that uh, that previous decision it talks about the removal of condition two from the previous decision okay is there a second to that motion second Motion's been made with conditions stated and seconded. Does the board care to have any discussion before moving it along to a vote? Hearing none, we'll do it by roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Mantoni? Aye. Mr. Frapery? Aye. Mr. Martin? Aye. Mr. Igo? Aye. And I'm an aye, so that carries unanimously. A decision will be drafted and sent to me, I'm sure. Just acknowledging that the transfer has occurred, it must reference the roll call vote, okay, under our governor's edict. I will do that. Thank you. And uh, if you'll send that to Dolores, I'll look it over immediately and get it filed with the town clerk's office. Once filed with the town clerk's office, <clears throat> if there be no appeal within 20 days, it needs to be brought to the Registry of Deeds and recorded with proof that it's been recorded, returned back to our board administrator. I will do that. Fabulous. Dolores sitting to my right. Yes. And we all can admit that she is a very great help, can't we? Oh, absolutely. I, I, she, she, I would be here, remiss yeah. if I didn't mention that she was very helpful to me in preparing uh, this petition. Well, thank you very much. Nice to see you this evening. Nice thank to you. see you as well. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Thanks again. The next matter is that of Petition 5026, CIK Auto Group Incorporated, doing business as Cape and the Islands Kia or KII, 760 route, uh, I'm sorry, 760 route 28, South Yarmouth, Massachusetts. That property is located in a B2 zoning district. Tonight our applicant seeks to modify a prior existing special permit number 4799-20019 and or grant a new special permit pursuant to 303.1.3 or in the alternative, a variance under 303.5.5.2 of our bylaws to replace existing attached sign and to modify an existing variance 4679-2017 or to grant a new variance uh, under 303.5.4.1 to allow replacement of oversized non-conforming sign. Good evening. Who's appearing on behalf of this petition? <coughs> that, who's that Mr. Chairman? My glasses are off. I'm sorry. Members of the board, thank you for having me. 
My name is always, always good to see you as well. Why don't you go ahead and tell us all about you? Yes, uh, my name is Stephen Sewell. I am the president, dealer principal over at CIK, or better known as Cape and Islands Kia, over on Route 28. I'm joined here by my executive partner, uh, Ted Zambellis. Is he the one that says his Teddy? Yeah. Teddy said so. Yeah. <laughs> he said so. Teddy said so. Oh, I forgot. I haven't seen it in so long. Let's get that straight. <laughs> good, to, good to see you both. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for having Thank me. You. Go right ahead and tell us about your petition. Okay. So, uh, Kia has uh, rolled out a new image program, like a lot of manufacturers do. Um, Fortunately, I've had some time to take a look at it. It actually looks like they're upgrading their image a little bit, which is good. They're trying to move to the next level of uh, uh, <clears throat> their dealer body. And they seem to be up on the uptick because Key is doing very well here in the town of Yarmouth. I'm happy to inform you all. Um, so basically, uh, I'm here because they have with their new image, they've gone from a kind of straight letter sign to a signature sign, um, which I believe you all have in front of you. So the few things that I've done, uh, they've been at me for a little while on this, um, and what happens is with these manufacturers, you eventually you need to be image compliant or what happens is they charge you more money for the cars which in turn I have to charge other people more money and can't pay help as much money so unfortunately they get you a little bit on that you know it's their image they want you to to look it up so I've avoided it as long as I could because <laughs> I just did the image about I don't know five years ago $200,000 later, but <laughs> new image coming on. Um, so like McDonald's. <clears throat> what's that? It's, it's kind of like McDonald's, but um, they do do a nice job. They got, they got the goods. They got good products, so we're happy about that. So what I had done, uh, you know, kind of fighting them a little bit before I'm here, um, is so the letters... If we talk about the wall signs, so there's two wall signs. There's one that has the Cape and Islands, which is my name, Cape and Islands, and another one that has Kia. It's kind of a ring that has Kia. So I did manage to work them down on the sizing of the Cape and Islands letters in the Kia logo on the building. So I think what you will find there is <clears throat> I managed to take the letters that are currently there now, and you might actually have the 24-inch <clears throat> letters. I brought them down to 18-inch letters. Number one, I think it's fine. They cost me a little less money. It just seems to be more uh, compliant. So it's different than what we're seeing on so the what, design. I, I don't know if you have the 24. Let me just take a look. My wife put this together for me. Um, so I had originally sent in the 24, and I believe, Dolores, it is, um, emailed. Did we email the 18-inch letters to them because we were a little late on that? Does that ring a bell? Yeah, we, yeah. we have yeah. the, we have the, yeah, the 18. with the 18-inch. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> so, yes, we moved that to 18 inches. So I think from what you see there now, um, we have less square feet of coverage on the letters, um, on the 18-inch letters. Also, if we look at the oval on the building, um, we've reduced the square footage of the oval on the wall sign. The existing one. The, the existing one. one, correct. So we're moving from a red to a little bit more of a, I think a better look sign myself. Um, so we've reduced that down. Um, so then we move to the pole sign. So on the pole sign, um, 
they had kind of that lollipop look that's there now, uh, which is a little body. We're moving to more of a rectangle. Uh, seems to be a softer, nicer look. Uh, clean, cleaner sign. It has a signature rather than the big letters of what used to be the gerbil with Kia or whatever, that, the mouse or whatever guy jumped out of that. Uh, they're kind of getting away from that. Um, so on the sign, you'll see that it is um, less square footage. We've gone down to 40 square feet on the, which I know is a little over the, the limit, uh, from the older sign uh, that was square feet. So we're going from the round red Kia to the black, kind of a little bit smoother sign. The is that the fifty four? Yeah, so we're going from fifty almost fifty five square feet. Yeah, yeah, down to forty. So we're going from fifty five to forty. It is. It's not really taller, but it is taller. Um, it, it's ten feet, which is certainly less than the Mitsubishi sign that I had prior to my Kia sign, but it's a touch taller than the old sign. But the square footage is certainly reduced, and I think it just has a little more appeal. So that's my story. You're sticking to it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's I, go with Mr. Martin. Any questions about petition, of Mr. Martin? Just trying to figure out. Uh, in 2017, I guess it was a variance granted. In 2019, it was a special permit. Um, I know why that difference might be. Change in the sign code. That we could do it by special permit. Okay, that would be it. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so in terms of, I'm trying to compare a little bit apples to oranges here a little bit, but uh, in terms of what's there now, uh, is anything getting bigger or just different shaped or what's the total square footage so, compared to what's yes, there now? So, and what's uh, be? so the new one that's coming in is 40 square feet. And I believe the... Free, freestanding sign we're talking, right? Freestanding, yeah. yep. So this is the uh, the panel sign. And the other one, I think you had at 56. I thought I saw feet. 54, yeah. or almost 55 square feet. So, it, it so is, that's shrinking. It's shrinking. OK, good. And on the building? And on the building, uh, substantially less as well on the wall signs. Um, so we have. It's all right. A bit smaller, I'm good. It's and I can't complain about smaller. Unquestionably, it's less square <laughs> foot footage on, on the letters and the, yeah. and the wall Okay, side. good. I don't have any problems or and, uh, any other questions. Thank you. Mr. Frapery? Um, yeah, it looks like the Cape and the Islands is the same size as the what you have now. Is that correct? Uh, the Cape and Islands is actually six inches reduced on the letters. Yeah. Um, so they're 24 inches now high. Okay. And they're going to uh, 18. So they are shrinking. Okay. Yep. They're shrinking. Um, no, it looks like three signs to replace three signs. Correct. Um, that's, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Mr. Mentoni? Yeah, I don't know. I just uh, comment. Uh, I mean, it looks, those, they look nice. And, uh, and they're getting, like Dick said, they're getting smaller. So that's fine. Fine with me. Any illumination on the freestanding side by the road? Yes. So it has, uh, what do you call that glow? Um, like a backlight kind of thing? Yeah, like a backlight. Pretty much the same that it has now with a little more technology, I think. Just It comes on at dusk rather than like a switch. They got that now where as it gets dark, it comes on. So I don't have to call my guys, you know, the side isn't on. <laughs> when I drive by at night, 9, 10 o'clock, the lighters are on. <laughs> Synchro, I forget what they call it. Synchro something. And that remains six feet. From the road, right? Correct. Yeah. Same spot. Okay. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Igo? No questions. Thank you. You know, when I first looked at the freestanding sign, 2001 A Space Odyssey came to my mind. 
<laughs> like a monolith, you know. Standard. Yeah, big lollipop. <laughs> but you know, I, I've seen the sign pr or, or uh, similar signs with that very specific backlighting you're talking about, and they uh, tell me it's just a uh, uh, to me it's a very much a classy look, and the color combination is fabulous. Uh, you know, there's nothing like like neutral colors. Exactly. Uh, and uh, in this instance, maybe it won't jump out at you like the red Kia sign, but I think it's much more tasteful. I agree. Uh, my hope is that we're not going to ha have this be a Cadillac dealership next week, are we? No, sir. Uh, only, <laughs> only because the file's getting thick on sign permits. You know? so, I don't want to drive too far to get service. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, it's, I have no questions other than to applaud you. You're a great neighbor to this town, Thank a you. great citizen to it. You do a wonderful job with your businesses here in town. Appreciate that. And, and uh, you ought to be proud of the work you do from my perspective anyway. Thank so. you. But maybe people in our audience will feel different. Maybe you've got enemies out there. I don't know. Does anyone in our audience care to speak in favor of this petition? If so, please come to the microphone. Let us hear what you have to say. And seeing none, does anyone care to speak in opposition? Seeing none, we close it to the public input to the petition. We open it up to board discussions and deliberations. I'm not, I don't think it will take us much time, but stay in your seat. Mr. Igo. Yes, uh, I think uh, I can support this petition. I would say that I do think they meet the criteria of a variance. That's what they're asking for tonight only. They're not asking for special permit relief. They do need a variance. Uh, they exceed the limits of the sign code. However, we have given relief uh, for this business before. They are coming in tonight. They are decreasing the size of their existing signs, so they're coming into conform more into conformity with the bylaw. Uh, I do think they meet the criteria for a variance, as we've done with other businesses that are set back quite a ways from Route 28. It is a bit of a hardship being set back, so we have been sensitive to other businesses in town and we've given them relief for the signs for that uh, reason. Um, so uh, having said that, uh, again, they're decreasing the size of their signs. They're bringing it into more conformity. So I do think they meet the criteria for a variance. I'm planning on supporting it, and I would urge the board to do so as well. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Martin. Um, I would just uh, agree with what Sean just said, and he explained the reasoning behind the variance, and that's was really my only question. I think it's a uh, good application. Mr. Frapery. Um, I don't have anything else. I'm not sure I understand why it's not a special permit, but I'll go along with the variance. <laughs> well, first of all, it's, it's requested as a variance. Only. Oh, I thought I would say modification to a special permit. Yeah, I well, know. I don't know. They've got it. The petition I'm looking at says, says uh, a variance from the uh, zoning bylaws is what's been requested, and, and uh, so that's what I'm going with. Okay. Uh, Either Mr. or on the, uh, notice. I don't have anything to add, Mr. <clears throat> Chairman. I, yeah, I'm just looking at the actual it. petition, and it's just for uh, requesting yes, a variance. Yes. However, I agree with everybody that says that uh, a variance is appropriate. We've been down this very road a couple of times now on this, and in each instance, we've agreed it's a variance and it meets the criteria of a variance. Or rather, excuse me, that it meets the criteria of a variance. I think Mr. Martin rightly points out that it was a special permit at one time and a variance at another time. But uh, it's definitely uh, uh, in need of it when you look at the uh, depth back from Route 28 where this building is located. Yes. The signs are modest. The monolith is uh, attractive. Uh, it's not maybe as... Uh, uh, causing as much traffic problems uh, by people looking over quick at that red and white sign that's so beautiful, but uh, going away, and I think the new one's going to be a, a, a good improvement, uh, personally. Uh, with that, is anybody prepared to make a motion? Uh, um, I'll move that uh, we, we approve petition 5026. Um, for a variance as requested. I'll second that. Board care to have any discussion on the motion made and second? Not hearing any. We'll do a roll call again. Mr. Igo? Aye. Mr. Martin? Aye. Mr. Frapery? Aye. Mr. Mantoni? Aye. 
And I'm an I that carries 5-0. I'll draft a decision. It will be filed with the town clerk's office. Once that is filed with the town clerk's office, 20 days must elapse before it's considered a granted variance. That variance will then need to be brought to the Bonstable Registry of Deeds and recorded with proof that you have done so brought back to Ms. Fallon, okay? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Sewell, thank you. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Mr. What's your name again? Mr. Ted Zambellis. Oh, Mr. Zambellis. Good to <laughs> see you, Mr. Right Zambellis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, gentlemen. Good night. Uh, the next petition is that of 5027 Donald and Judith Smith, uh, Judith Sullivan, excuse me, of 213 Old Main Street in South Yarmouth, Massachusetts. That property is in an RS40 zoning district. The applicant seeks a variance under 203.5 of our bylaws for side setback relief to build an addition. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Wonderful. How are you? Great. Thank you. I'm Erin Sullivan. I'm the daughter of... Um, DJ and Judy Sullivan, and here with me is my husband, Chris Peterson. Hey. Why don't you go right ahead and tell us all about your petition? Sure. So we, um, my husband and I have recently re um, returned back to the Cape. We're living with my parents um, so that they can age in place at 213 Old Main Street. We did a renovation this um, past winter that brought them downstairs with a bedroom and an upgraded bathroom, and uh, what we did was took took over an existing family room and, and a small bedroom and a bathroom and made that into a new primary suite for them on the first floor. The addition will replace that family room that, um, that was taken over by the bedroom. We'll have another primary bedroom on top of that on the second floor um, for my husband and I. An existing bedroom will be turned into another bathroom and then we'll extend the back of the house about eight feet. Okay. Um, so it's it's approximately nine, approximately 993 square foot foot addition. Um, okay. As most old homes on that street, there are hardly any straight lines um, and 90 degree angles. So our house sits a little bit crooked um, with the with the board, with the side setback. So we're about four inches over the setback with the Sears property which is a commercial property that has a 25-foot setback. Okay. Living right down the street from you, I know your house pretty well. <laughs> Great. Okay. All right. Let's see if anybody has, is that it or did you want to add anything nope, else? That's it. I'm happy to answer any questions. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. I'm sure there will be some. So, uh, uh, John, what do you have? Any questions about petition? Yeah, I just want to, there's no, there's no additional kitchen. No. No. This is this is a joint living. This is not an additional apartment. This is a simply a replacement of a of a, a family room space. Right. That's. I want to make that yeah. distinction. No, we, right. We we, um, we feel very strongly that uh, we are not kicking them out of their home and we are not relegating them to a portion of their home. That we are living together. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they're not going to let you kick them out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to make sure you're not going. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's that's funny. All right, anyway, uh, John, anything else? No, I don't have anything else. I just... All right, how about you, Jay? Uh, it looks like they're looking for six inches or, yeah, or less. Roughly, yeah. Um, in the setback, so um, and going back with the angle of the house, so I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Any questions? Mr. Martin. I guess I'm con confused again. Should this be a special permit or variance? I think it's, well... They're asking We've for always variance. dealt with side setbacks <laughs> as, as special, special permits, permit, right? Well, they were re requesting a variance. Does it matter? Uh, well, yes. Uh, if I may, yeah, the reason please. that they're asking for variance relief is because they met the setbacks. They're creating a brand new nonconformity. It's not an extension or an alteration of a, an existing nonconformity. Um, okay. So, the re that's the reason they need variance relief. It's, it's, I think they meet the criteria for a variance, but they do need a variance. Okay. Thank God I have you. <laughs> Aren't we all happy? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even pay him for the legal advice. Can you yeah. imagine that? Uh, it's certainly a, a, very nice a, addition, a very nice addition. They're only looking for six inches over what the 
a fairly substantial requirement is for the sideline setback, so certainly I have no, no issue with it, and I think they can meet the criteria. Thank you. Mr. Iger? Um, are we discussing this now? The uh, uh, Are we closed the hearing? What? Or was this questions? Is this questions? No, do you have any questions of our petition? Oh, I have, I have no questions. No, thank you. Okay. I, ha I have none either. I, you know, I'm very familiar with the neighborhood, very familiar with the home, driving by it many times every week. And uh, I, I've got to tell you, it's a, a well-kept property, and uh, for that, your uh, parents should be given high praise, uh, and so we'll give it to you, okay? You want them to stay there with you, or would you like them to, to leave? <laughs> Are they guests Link that twice, have overstayed that their welcome? Or? <laughs> we could always deny the relief if you want. Out of time. No, okay. Well, listen. You know, it's wonderful to see families uh, help each other out like this, and and I, I hope that you'll be mowing the lawn and uh, only if he lets not me. expecting your father-in-law to only do. Only if he lets me. That's his thing. Great. So, does anyone in our audience care to speak in favor of this petition? If so, please come to the microphone. Let's hear what you have to say. Seeing none, does anyone care to speak in opposition? And again, seeing none, we now close it to public input on the petition. We open it up to board discussions, and I think we'll get to a motion in just a minute. Please don't leave. We want you to stay for the whole thing. We, we do have letters of support from a few of our neighbors. You know, if, if you, you like. want to pass them in, that's okay. But, we, you, you, don't you know, okay. like everybody in America, we don't need more paper to try to store if we don't need it. Perfect. And I think right now you're looking pretty good. Okay. <laughs> But, I mean, I'll, I'll take them if you wish to submit them. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, because we have to go through a whole thing of stamping and marking. and So, uh, John, why don't you start us off? What do you think? Well, I think it's a reasonable request. I'm only looking for uh, less than a half a foot, so I, I don't really have any issues, and I plan to support it. Okay. Uh, Jay? I just echo John's support. Um, I think it's a fine request. And you, Dick? I will echo John and Jay. <laughs> uh, Mr. I go. John. It's a very de minimis request for relief. Uh, they do meet the uh, criteria for a variance, and they do so because of the shape of the lot. Uh, the way the house, the existing house, is situated on the lot uh, to cause a square uh, addition to come off of it due to the shape of the lot, how it matches up with the existing house causes it to go into the setback. Um, and so it's only six inches. Uh, I think it's a reasonable request. I do think they meet the criteria. It would be a hardship for the petitions if we didn't grant this relief. It certainly won't degrade from the purpose and intent of the bylaw, nor cause any undue harm or nuisance or congestion. So uh, given those factors, uh, I think they meet the criteria and I plan on supporting it and urge the board to do so as well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So what you just witnessed was a, uh, a wonderful presentation of a read of our uh, law that uh, requires us to uh, consider the various aspects before the granting of a variance. And it was very artfully said and spoken by Mr. Igo. I think we all sent, share the sentiment that it's a wonderful project, a, not a, a laudable undertaking on the part of all of you. And uh, I hope you have many years of bliss and happiness in your property. We're going to make a vote in a minute. I think it's going to be favorable. And then I don't expect anybody ever to appeal from this uh, decision here tonight. But one never knows. So uh, anybody prepared to make a motion? I'll move to uh, approve petition 5027 for a variance as, uh, as requested. If they meet the criteria as previously outlined. Thank you very much. Is there a second? I'll second it. Mr. Frapery has seconded. Uh, is there any need for any discussion? Anybody feeling any need? Hearing none, we'll do it by roll call vote again. Mr. Martin? Aye. Mr. Frapery? Aye. Mr. Mantoni? Aye. Mr. Igo? Aye. And I myself am an aye. A decision will be drafted. It will be filed with the town clerk's office. 20 days must elapse. I know it's repetitive, but it's okay. 20 days must elapse before it's considered final. Uh, and uh, assuming no one appeal, you would then take the uh, grant of the variance or the variance, bring it to the Barnstable Registry of Deeds, 
record it, return proof that you've recorded it, and then you would be able to go right ahead and get your a building permit. Don't forget that. We want to collect our tax dollars from this town, so building permit, and uh, uh, proceed with the building, okay? Thank you very much for coming in. And Thank you. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm sure your mother and father and mother-in-law and father-in-law are very proud of the two of you for your presentation. Thank you very much. You have a good night. Thank you. Five zero three zero is that of Charles and Susan Dean of forty five Carriage Lane, Yarmouth Port, Massachusetts. That property being located in the zoning district R forty. Hello. Hello. The applicant this evening seeks a special permit pursuant to uh, sections four oh seven of our building of our zoning bylaws uh, to allow for a family related accessory apartment. Would you tell us who you are, please? I am Susan Dean. I'm Charles Dean. How are the two of you this evening? Very well. Good. Then why don't you uh, just, you know, as comfortably as you can tell us what it is you want to do. Okay. Um, we have built a uh, pool house that we want to convert to a um, auxiliary apartment. Um, my daughter will be living in the main house, and Charles and I will be living in the... Kito. The pool house. <laughs> the pool house. Goodness. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's newly constructed. It's, you know, very, um, very nice, and we're looking forward to them moving down. Wonderful. <laughs> and uh, as you've heard previously, board members may have questions of you, so we're going to go right ahead to them, okay? okay. And uh, John, John, do you have any questions of our petitioner? Um, well, I just want to know, what's it, 528 square feet, is that right? 22 by 24? Yes. Yes. Full bath, full kitchen. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any other questions. Very good. Jay? No, it looks like it has setback. It's already in place. Um, it looks like a nice addition, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have family around, so... I don't have any questions. Dick. <clears throat> PS to meet all the criteria for a um, for a family related accessory apartment uh, under our under our bylaws, and so I would have no issues whatsoever with it. Sean. No questions. Thank you. I have no questions other than to say you have a lovely home. And it's wonderful, again, as you just heard me say earlier, that family can support family the way that your children apparently are doing with the two of you. I want you both to be happy in the smaller home, though. Yeah. <laughs> if they're kicking you out into that little thing, so that they can stay in the big <laughs> thing. thing is right. Less to clean. <laughs> well, listen, uh, if you have a problem with them, you contact somebody here in town, but not me, okay? <laughs> All right. So does anyone in our audience care to speak? In favor of this petition, if so, please come to the microphone. Let's hear what you have to say. Seeing none. Does anyone care to speak in opposition to this petition? If so, come to the microphone. Let us hear what you have to say, and we see none. So therefore, we close it to the public input on the petition, other than to uh, have me read into the record the following. This is from um, Martha Barcroft. Is she a neighbor of yours? Yeah. Oh, is that you? Oh, that's concerning you. I'm sorry, somehow I got mixed in. I apologize. <laughs> He's a neighbor. Okay, so then we have nothing to report <laughs> beyond what we've already heard from. And the two of you have done a wonderful job in presenting your petition this evening, and thank you for it. So now we're going to uh, open it up to uh, Mr. Igo. Uh, do you have any thoughts, Mr. Igo, before moving it along? Does someone may want to make a motion, perhaps? Uh, the only thing I would add is I would just echo Dick that they meet the criteria in the section 407.2 subsections 1 through 9 and I would make a motion that we approve the petition as requested with no conditions. Okay, second? Second. Okay, go ahead. See, everybody wants to make the motion a second because then their name goes into a written document that goes on permanent file in the Barnstable Registry of Deeds. <laughs> so there's the story behind the story. <clears throat> Need any conversation on this before moving along? Hearing none, 
Uh, let's move to uh, Mr. Igo as the mover. Uh, what, your, uh, your vote, Mr. Igo? Aye. Mr. Mintoni? Aye. Mr. Frapery? Aye. Mr. Martin? Aye. And I'm an aye. That carries 5 0. And, and again, I know it's repetitive. I'm sorry. I'll draft a decision. The decision gets filed with the town clerk's office. 20 days must elapse before that's considered a final decision. Right. Then, assuming no one appeal, of course. If no one appeals, you then take that decision, you bring it down to the Barnstable Registry of Deeds, you record it, you bring back proof that you've recorded it to Dolores, who will be happy to receive it, and then that will cause the issuance of that uh, 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 relief, okay? Right. And uh, then you can go right ahead and invite your children down. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And to thank see you, you to Dolores. They're not going to take helpful. the pool away from you, are they now? No, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so... You get worried about those things, you know. Good to see you. Thank you. Don't worry about the chairs. Other people are coming right up. You have a wonderful night. Drive safe going home. Petition 5033, that of Wayne and Teresa Edwards, trustees of the Edwards Family Trust for property located at 91 Pinecone Drive in West Yarmouth, Mass. That property being located in the zoning district R25. This evening, our applicant seeks a special permit pursuant to 104.3.2, subparagraph 2 of our zoning bylaws, or in the alternative, under, for a variance under 203.5, for side setback relief to build a second floor addition. Mr. Paul Betancourt is assisting this evening. Mr. Betancourt. Yes, uh, what we're pr proposing to do is uh, take the second floor off and uh, just add a, add a uh, a dormer front and back, uh, and two bedrooms upstairs, and we're vacating a bedroom on the first floor, so we're staying within the three bedrooms that we already oh, have septic. in the property. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's basically uh, the same theme as everybody else, so their family can come down <coughs> in, the, in the summer, and there's yeah. enough room, because they have three adult kids, and their, their daughter just had a baby, and so it's just just a uh, comfortable for the summer, it, or even year round, because it's it's their main house year round. So uh, basically, it's another family situation. And <laughs> seems like that kind of a night, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. So, uh, people on the board may have questions, and so we'll do that. So uh, we please, we'll start with Mr. Uh, We'll start with you there, uh, Mr. Mantoni, please. Any questions about petition? Well, so I, I just, just so I understand, you're removing the second floor completely and, add, and then putting two bedrooms up there? Right. Okay. It'd be a, be a new second floor. There's a floor there now, like with an attic with oh, a bedroom. Oh, okay, gotcha. So we're just going to uh, put a new second floor. There's already stairs up there. We're right. just going to put a new second floor with a, with a full dorm in front and back. So it's it's uh, uh okay. subs you know it gives you the extra height that's upstairs. Right. right. So you're adding you're going up. You're not you're not expanding your footprint. No, the, the, anyway. foot, no, no, the footprint is staying just the going same. Up, probably We're just the same height up. too as well. Okay. All right. Uh, thanks. That's that's all I have. Mr. Frapery. Looks like the expansion upward is just all within the same footprint. Sorry, it's, it's all within the same footprint. Yeah, same footprint. Yeah. Yes. The height today uh, is it is it already 21 feet, <clears throat> 21 something? Is that correct? It may be a little less than that. It's it's probably going up a few feet. And the max is going to be 21 or so. Yeah, roughly plus or minus a few inches. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's only a few. Uh, that's feet. okay. It's well within <coughs> our height limitations. That's it what is, I was just checking. Um, that's all I had for questions. Mr. Martin. Yep. So it's presently an expansion cave just without a very good pitch for upstairs, so, so you're having to go up higher and, and dormer to provide some good space. Uh, nope, the same footprint, and the only reason you uh, need to be here is because you're going a little bit higher uh, on the same footprint. I think that that's just fine. I think it's going to be a very nice addition in house. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Igo. Um, I'm not sure if anybody's asked this question, but you're not expanding the foundation at all, correct? No. Oh, we're, no, we're not. No. no. Is that a no? That was okay. a no. Yeah. And the side setback 
Okay, and the side setback relief that you're seeking is because the rear of the house, which is a side setback, because you're on a corner lot, that's where you're violating it. What are you, less than 50? I don't, because I don't see a, uh, you don't have a plot plan here, correct, for an engineer? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we, we do. It's not in my path. You have one done? You do. No, it's a plot What's plan the indicates it's 13. Uh, they're not, they're non conforming on one side. Yeah. 13 feet off the line. Yeah, the rear, yeah, the rear is on the 13. Back side, right? yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's all I need. I, I can see it on a property card. I, I've got a, a aerial of it, but I figured the, the rest of them you're in conforming. That's all I have. Uh, it, it seems like a reasonable request. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Can you tell me, please, how it is you determine the 22 foot to the ridge line? How was that calculated? Uh, well, I drew the plans, so I just I went by by my drawings. Uh, that's it's a rough idea. It it, it could be 21, 6, 20, 20. It's around twenty two. Well, that that that's off of the uh, from from the foundation to the ridge line, right? Uh, actually, it's probably from existing grade to the ridge. I think I think there's a thirty maximum 35 yeah 35 so we're we're well within the uh the range so your representation to the, i i'm not trying to be argumentative i'm no, just no. trying to make sure we have your representation is that this will not exceed 35 feet as measured properly under our guy under our bylaws you know okay for future reference it's we like to see that on plans okay an affirmation of a, 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 that it's in fact uh, pursuant to our zoning bylaws and its calculation, okay? It's it's fine. I'm, I, I don't have any problem with you, uh, your representation or the or the plans as seen. For future reference, in case you come back on something else, we'd like to see the actual uh, elevation noted, okay? Yeah, I, I I do have plans. I don't know if you wanted to look at them. I don't think they they're measured according to the way we would expect them to be measured. But I accept because I I know the I know the uh, property uh, having driven by. And, and there's no way that this is going to exceed 35 feet. I'm just saying for the future, you might want to consider that, okay? okay. Because sometimes it just plain is so hard to tell, you know, right. uh, from the way we measure it. Uh, so uh, there is one bit of, and thank you so much for correcting me before I wrote, read it into the wrong record. There is one bit of correspondence we've received. Uh, it, it is uh, by... Uh, Catherine Brooks, who is a conservation agent, and she notes, I'm sorry, there are actually two, uh, that on May 1, 2023, the CONCOM uh, agent approved administratively without conditions a second floor addition with dorm is at 91 Pinecone Drive. The company to do the work is Battencourt Construction at 20 uh, Burst Road, Mashby, Mass, with a proposed start date of September 2023. Let's make sure we don't hold you up on that. You probably want to enjoy your property this summer, huh? Instead of hearing nails, right. well, being hammered. Uh, there's a, uh, uh, a, a June 1 email sent to us. Uh, it's from uh, Martha Barcourt Croft, as I earlier alluded to. She says, I live directly across the street from 91 Pinecone Drive at 88 Pinecone Drive. Boy, what a Cape Cod name. Uh, we, we bought our house here 51 years ago. I have no objections to the plan renovation at 91, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking at the finished product. If anybody should object, it's been a neighbor of 51 years. And if she's not gonna, I guess you're good to go. So, all right. Anybody have any uh, comments from our audience and seeing none because there's no other one other than the petitioners in their support group here? Um, now let's uh, open it up to somebody's thoughtful motion if we could. I'd, I'd uh, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, petition as presented. Um, I believe it does fit all the requirements. It's within the same footprint, and uh, it doesn't exceed the height. So I think it's a reasonable request. Very good. For a special permit. And, and that's as a what? Special, as a special permit. All right. All second. Right. And we have a second by Mr. Martin. Uh, does the board care to have any discussion before moving along to a vote? Hearing none, Mr. Martoni. Aye. Mr. Igo. 
Aye. That was a thoughtful pause. Everything okay? <laughs> Did you have any questions? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Frapery? Aye. And uh, how about you, Mr. Martin? Aye. I'm an aye as well. A decision will be drafted. It will be filed with the town clerk's office. 20 days must elapse after it's been filed. Then you'll take that down to the Registry of Deeds, record it, return it. If you have any questions on that process, Dolores will be happy to help you with those, as you know, having already submitted this petition. <coughs> Thank you very much for your help this evening and getting this done quickly, and we'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a variant. You requested an alternative, did you? Is that it? There was a variance request? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so we need to have that. You want that withdrawn without prejudice, right? Of course you do. So uh, uh, having at your request, we'll now uh, ask someone to move to withdraw the uh, variance request. So moved. Without prejudice. Mr. Martin moves. Second. Mr. Frapery seconds. All those in favor by voice vote, uh, please. Aye. 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 Those opposed, carry, uh, there are none. It carries unanimously. That's just a procedural matter, okay? It means so that if you ever need a variance on anything, you, if you feel you need to come in, you can come back in. You won't be prejudiced, okay? Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful night. Thank Good you. luck Thank with you. your construction. Thank you, everyone. And Have with a great that, night. we move to adjourn, do we? I don't approve the minutes. So moved. Approve the minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Are there minutes? Yeah. There are minutes, yeah. Where am I missing those? Thank you. Very much. Thank you. I, I read them online. It's fine. I read them online. Yeah. Okay. Anybody prepared to make a motion to uh, approve the minutes as presented by Ms. Fallon? So moved. Second. Second. So moved. And all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 That carries unanimously. There's one other b a bit of a, uh, uh, business not on our agenda, but I'd just like to raise it uh, briefly, that we do put on our agenda a night for, uh, when it's a short list, perhaps as soon as possible, a, is there such a thing, a short list soon? Uh, <laughs> not too many, I guess. Well, as soon as we can get it on reasonably, uh, uh, 15 minutes or so, half hour, whatever it takes for us to uh, consider the uh, limitations and, uh, and uh, uh, authority of a zoning administrator so we can move that along uh, uh, to a vote at some point. Okay? If we could accomplish that. And uh, everybody else, uh, have a pleasant night. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, Sean. Good night, Sean. Good night, Sean. Good night. I don't envy you in that heat. Are you still down in Florida, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if we're off or not. We off? We're still on TV.